Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload Android apps in Windows 11. So for those of you who don't know, Microsoft added the Android support yesterday, but with the Amazon App Store, they only allow us to install up to 50 apps that are not really that interesting and really not that useful if you ask me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload apps, basically install Android apps from uh, third parties using their APKs. And basically, we will be able to install any app on our Windows operating system. I saw on Reddit people that installed apps like Apple Music, Minecraft for Android and a whole bunch of other stuff. For example, I've installed today Instagram just for testing purposes to see if this works and it works really good. As you can see, it is starting using the Windows subsystem for Android. Basically, in this video, I'm only going to show you how to sideload apps to Windows 11. But if you want to know how to install the Windows subsystem for Android and all that, go and watch the video that will be down below in the description that I've made yesterday. So as you can see, the app is working properly and that is really good. So let's begin this video. Let's see what we need in order to do this. First of all, of course, we need the Windows subsystem for Android. As I've said in the video down below in the description, you're gonna see how to install this if you are not in the US region because this is pretty much only available in the US region right now. If you have the Windows subsystem for Android, you will need some SDK platform tools and we're gonna download the um, SDK platform tool tools that include ADB, Fastput, and SysTrace. You're going to have this link in the article down below in the description. You have here all the links necessary. I'm going to download for Windows and click on this and then scroll down to download the SDK platform tools for Windows. They will be downloaded in the default location that you've set on your browser. And of course, you're going to need the APK of the app that you want to install. For example, you can use a third party website called APK Mirror. This website provides you with a lot of APKs. So for example, let's download YouTube music from APK Mirror. So I'm just going to go and look for the latest version, which is by Google LLC. So I'm just going to download this one. Now, if you click on it, just go and click on see available downloads and then download the latest version and again click on download apk the apk will be downloaded let's see what we need to do next in the windows subsystem for android make sure you have developer mode enabled and then click on manage developer settings wait for a bit you can expand this window if you want scroll down and make sure you have wireless debugging enabled debug mode when wi-fi is connected make sure this is enabled you can exit out from here now and also you you need this IP address, of course, to connect to it. If you don't have it uh, here available, just click on the refresh button and then you can click on the copy button to copy the IP address. Of course, you're going to need WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the platform tools. I'm going to use WinRAR, just right click, show more options and extract too. We now have this extracted and the platform tools is here. Now we will need to open up a command prompt as admin in this location. So for this, I'm just going to click on the search box, type in here CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator on user account control, click on yes, copy the location from up here in your file explorer and then type in here CD and then paste this, press enter. Basically now you are in that location and all you need to do is to type in the following command, adb connect and this IP address. So I'm just gonna copy it again, adb connect and, and the IP address and then press enter. And as you can see now, we are connected to that IP address using adb, that is really cool. Of course, all these commands will be in the article down below the description if you are interested in them. Now, after you connected to that IP address, all you need to do is to drag and drop the APK into the platform form tools folder and you can press F2 to copy its name and then go again in the command prompt and type in here the command to install that APK which is adb install and then right click to paste that file and then press enter as you can see performing streamed install and then success and now we successfully installed the YouTube music app into our system as you can see here we have the app let's open it basically it will be running using the Windows subsystem for Android in this case the app is pretty buggy maybe it's because of the APK so of course this is just the beginning of the Windows subsystem for Android so don't expect every app to work properly or something like that but now let's try to install another app for example let's download apple music and see how it works i'm going to click on see available downloads from here make sure to download only apks because only this will 
work with this method, I'm just going to download the APK and then click on download APK. And once again, as I've said, open the platform tools folder, drag and drop your APK to that location, press F2 to copy its name, copy the name, go again into the CMD, ADB, install, and then right click to paste that file or that file name, performing streamed install and success. And now let's see if Apple Music is installed on our system. As you can see, we have it here installed. Let's open it up. Apple Music, the app is working. We can click on agree and the app is working as it should work. As you can see, this is really, really cool in my opinion. I'm really glad that Microsoft introduced the Android apps to Windows 11. We will now have a lot of exploration to do if you ask me. But um, I'm hoping this video is useful. If you have any other questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. And also don't forget to check out the article from the website where you'll have all the links necessary to um, the download links for ADB and the APKs and also the commands used in this video. If the video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.